Hi, what's your name? Fionn. Where are you from? Wales. And what brings you to lovely Australia? Um, I'm just on a working holiday visa, just sort of getting out of the UK. Um, just trying to do some travelling, save a bit of money. And, you know, uh, like job-wise, have you got any aspirations? Oh, what age are you? I'm 22. Okay, so you... So yeah, you're, so I've been to uni, got my undergrad and masters. So this is more of like a break in real what, life. What, what did you study? Um, psychology and then clinical psychology. Okay, ideal for travelling. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Job prospects, just endless. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what would be your, like, if someone said, hey, I'm going to give you this job, what, what would be your job, you would, your dream job? My dream job would be very different to, like, my... I, I want to work in the zoo, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, that would be my dream job, like, to be in a zookeeper. Okay. And uh, does it matter which zoo? Would it, you be fine with Australia, the UK? Australia, Australia zoo. zoo. Yeah. In which one? Because I've got a few. Um, the Steve Irwin one. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And uh, how long have you been here? Uh, five months. And what's your experience, good and bad? Good, mostly. I think it's more difficult to save up money. Not collectively, but yeah, it's just pretty good. Is it what? What's the pay like here? Is it like better than minimal? Is it better than the UK? Yeah, it's pretty decent. So I'm on like twenty nine dollars an hour. It's pretty good. But like some of my mates, they get weekend rates. I don't where I work, but you get like thirty seven dollars an hour. Like and do you, do you get tips because you work behind the bar? Yeah, I tend to. Yeah. Because and we've it, got pokies room as well, so um, they just come out if they win big and just chuck you fifty dollars. Yeah, but the cost of living, would you, fa have you ever lived in London? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, do you think the cost of living's quite high? So even if you get a yeah. better wage? Oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah. It's so expensive. And it's hard to, like, shop around, you know, get yeah. cheap stuff I've found. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is difficult, like, no matter what you do, like, you spend a more money, especially, like, sort of food. It's so expensive. I'd get the impression what you earn, you probably spend quite quick, just because oh, yeah. meat's expensive here too, isn't it? Yeah, meat's so expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the case of now, like anything I make in the week is going on well, accommodation and food, and like that's it. Could you kind of like work in this hostel? Yeah, so I actually was supposed to be doing that, but my plan was to leave, so you can work for a con, yeah. But I plan to leave a bit more. Yeah. I mean, do you have to work so many hours for stopping here, or...? So it's 12 hours a week, um, and you can split that into like 3-4 hours, or like sort of 4-3 hours, um, but then you get free accommodation, so it's pretty good. Okay. So you can be doing like, making the beds, making the beds, like cleaning the kitchen. Yeah. But yeah, a few of my friends do that. Okay. So what made you come to Australia? Um, so I wanted to travel Southeast Asia first. But so one of my friends was out here in Australia and she said like it's such a brilliant place to be and I thought it was a good sort of stepping stone to go into travelling before I sort of go to Southeast Asia, which involves a lot more trap like sort of planning. Um, and I've always wanted to come to Australia, so here we are, and working holiday visas, they're brilliant. You can just come out here, you can work very as well. Very easy to get. Very, are they easy very, to get? Yeah, oh. like, come back so quickly. I literally apply for mine, it took like 10 minutes to apply for yeah. And then mine came back in about, it was literally about a minute. That yeah, got that was the same as mine. Yeah. yeah. And what about yourself? Why did you come to Australia? Um. Well, I didn't really want to go to uni, so I needed like a second option. And Australia's always been like on my bucket list. Of where I wanted to go traveling, I've seen like so many videos and everything. So, and you're from England. Which, oh, which part? Coventry. Okay, and yourself? Cardiff, Wales. Cardiff oh. girl. Cardiff. Oh, I thought you were Swansea. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm originally from Cardiff. Oh right. Okay. But I've, my mum's just only recently moved to Swansea. Ah okay. So I am sort of Cardiff born and bred. Okay. So like only in like the past year have I moved to Swansea and then I've obviously come out here, so most of my life. And what are your 
obviously you're going to travel, enjoy yourself, do different jobs. But what are your alternative goals? What would you like to do if someone sort of said, hey, what job would you like to do and I'll give you that job? Like dream job. Dream job. Do you want me to go first? Or you want me to go first? You go first. Uh, I want my own business in sport. Like, I find it really helpful to like inspire like children who can't afford things. So I'd love to have my like a sport job where I can inspire children who can't afford to do the sport that they love. That's like my dream job. And would would that sport <coughs> include all sports or maybe a specific one? Yeah, like obviously you get coaches from different kind of areas to help the children that can't afford to like go to the clubs and stuff like that that's my name so or create something that like has like different yeah sort of different coaches. like coaches cool. would go into yeah. like their area help them but like, even if it's just like, a little football match or a rugby game or something like that and would you would you uh, is that because maybe you wanted to go into sports and no one helped you is the uh, reason behind it well i've always worked with like kids in sport like, i've always done that at home and there's been kids who've like got disabilities or things and but like they struggle with it more and there's not as much help for them. So I always found that I've been more drawn to going towards them to help them be able to achieve their dreams and stuff. So I prefer to be able to do that for them. And did you used to play sports? Yeah, I play rugby. Okay. Yeah, I used to play that. Did you play for quite a long period or just while at school? Uh, probably about five years now, yeah, and I played, I went to a college where it was like quite serious, but then now I just kind of want to play more for fun. And what about here, did you think about maybe doing rugby? Yeah, I am thinking about playing here. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, I want to see how other people coach and stuff as well. Yeah, and you thought about maybe doing it here? Uh, yeah, that's kind of why I came here as well, because I wanted to see how people coach. So I can like adapt that to going home and then seeing people here and people at home and then. Because sometimes it's off. easier to go to a different country. Yeah. Because you've got more chance. Whereas yeah, saying yeah. I'm a girl from Coventry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people here though they're more rugby league and I play rugby union. So, oh, okay. Yeah. What about yourself? You mentioned your aspiring <clears throat> dream job was the zoo. I would. I would love to work in the zoo. So basically, my my mum's a veterinary nurse, so I've grown up around animals. We've fostered animals. I love animals. We've had all sorts. So I think honestly, went to the Steve Irwin Zoo, and I thought this would be my dream job. And they've got very unusual animals. Yeah. Oh, in Australia. yeah, absolutely. Very cutie. Quiet. Yeah, I can see you with the koala. You see me with the koala. Yeah, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. But yeah, I just think like to be honest, anything towards um animals um any sort of like environmentalist job as well because i feel like it's kind of underlooked yeah and so well. i just i you know like it's everyone's dream to like want to make a difference but i would kind of want to contribute to that difference even if it's only just yeah. a little fraction And anything you want to say to the audience, you know, like some mindful, you know, like if someone's never travelled and they want to travel, mm. any of the uh, good points and bad points, what Just they should it. be. You'll be able to do it. And do you know what? It actually changes you as a person. Yeah, I feel like we've both done different experiences. Like I've gone straight into an apartment, straight working. Yeah. Before I've gone travelling, you've gone straight travelling. I, I, yeah, I went straight travelling. And I feel like you still meet the best people either oh, way that you do it. It makes you it makes you a better person, yeah. I think, and like it makes you a more considerate person and just a more outgoing person. And I would say one hundred percent, I've I've changed. Yeah, and like from from my being back home, my confidence level is like, like that. I can't even speak to anyone at home. I can't even order my own food. Yeah, and now I'm here. I'm like, like you Whoa. have to. You're you're forced to be <laughs> yeah. in that position I where you have to have that confidence. So yeah, you. I literally was eating on my own. Yeah, and met new people. I was living with a family I'd never met before, and I was like. Oh my god, yeah. this is so strange. It's crazy. You have to be such an outgoing person. You have to like, you almost have to change yourself, but you don't have to change yourself. You just have to. You adapt. Yourself yeah. and you adapt, 
And you know what? You meet you people meet that mo- help you. Yeah, you that. meet the most amazing people. It's a, it's a life changing experience, and it sort of shapes you. Yeah, like we don't even know each other. Until we, we like we didn't even know each other. Yeah. How did you two meet? We met at work. At work. And which work was that? The Caxton. Is that like a pub or? Yeah, so, yeah it's like a sports pub. bar. Yeah, yeah like it's oh, sports quite bar. big. Yeah, okay. it's quite big, big in Brisbane. But yeah, like. Obviously, we just met. We're both on working on. Yeah, you were carrying it's... three plates, and I think I said to you like, "Oh my oh, god, yeah. god, you've definitely been waiting just before." I was carrying three plates, and she came up to me afterwards because obviously, like, we both like work on bar, and she was like, "You've definitely been a waitress before." And that's why it just hit off. And then, yeah, <laughs> it was brilliant though. Like, we've literally yeah met like the best people. Like, we've made a friendship for life. Honestly. And like wearing, going, I'm going to Cardiff when I get home. Oh my gosh, absolutely! Like, like even wearing, with like the age difference, I still find like yeah. So like I'm 22, nearly 23, and I just turned 19. Oh god! But so you're... like we're literally inseparable. Like yeah, we literally see each other almost every day. Like whereas we would never meet under normal circumstances. It's it's brilliant. Like you yeah. literally meet people that you're friends with for life. It's great. And are there any uh, downfalls? I mean. When you decided to come be 19, I'm assuming, and come on your own, a lot of people must have thought, well, Yeah, I bit. had a lot of people say that, are you sure Negative. you want to do that? Because yeah. obviously mm. I hadn't been working for long, I just got out of college. But then as soon as I got here, everyone was like, I can't believe you're 19 and you're here. And it kind of boosted my confidence yeah. more. Because mm. they were like, you're actually here and you're just like, because when I came I was 18 and they were like, Oh, like you're an 18 year old that's just come to the other side of the world mm. on your own, staying with a family you've never met before. That's a very big thing. Oh, massive. And then when I like met, obviously, like you and stuff, it just kind of like boosted it even more. Yeah. And I think it was a better idea for me because I don't want to waste like my life and going to like uni when I don't actually want to go there. Yeah. And so, yeah. Kind of and the family you stayed with you is that somebody who you knew back home or no so it was my dad used to work with them it was like his friend so when i i literally met them at the airport for the first time and they took me totally back to theirs and i was like oh my gosh That's where crazy. am i right that now is crazy. and then i moved and stayed with another family that were also my dad's friends so they were kind of like friends of friends but i'd never met yeah That's and my dad worked thing, with them like 19 years ago and i'd still stayed with them and they're Australian. They're actually Australians. So. And do you think if you want to, you would have settled quicker, uh, with you staying with that family, or if you would have came to a hostel straight uh, away, do you think you would have struggled a bit more? I don't know because with the family, it kind of made me experience like Australian culture a lot more. Okay. Which I I really liked. I like, seen how they live, which was a, one of the things that I actually really wanted to experience. But then I think all like hostels, because I haven't stayed in a hostel properly, it's more like you meet a lot of people that are like you and like travelling. Yeah. So I feel like it's very different, but it's good. Yeah. Like I like that I'm friends with you, Yeah. who's in a hostel, but I'm also friends with actual like Australians who live here. And, like, you know they're the like, lifestyle. Yeah. But, like, but, in a hostel, you just mostly meet travellers, so yeah. you don't actually feel like the Australian lifestyle. Yeah, yeah like they go to I work haven't. every day. Yeah, they play rugby. Like, yeah. What, what's cool. the life sort of different from your life in the UK? What What are just little simple things? What might be different? It's a lot more sport. Okay. Oriented. Oh my god, massively. Like the family yeah. that I stayed with, like they all play rugby, which I love because I play it. But mm. I find it quite not intimidating, but it would be a lot if you didn't. Yeah. So, mm. but they are like lovely people, and like they have. Ve- I find like their families are very close as well. Like as soon as I went to their family parties, like they all included me. Like they made me feel like I was at home. Lovely, like yeah. we, it was Easter that I was at theirs. And they had like an Easter dinner and they gave me like a name plate and everything. Mm. Like they made me feel like yeah. I was actually part of the family, yeah. which I really liked. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. They're actually just not safe whatsoever. Honestly. Yeah, because that one, it just keeps slightly. Look, it's tilt to a tilt. Yeah. And I can't get my foot. I keep tripping my foot on the Oh, yeah. You get him down as well. Like, you can't do it. Yes, I can. I get down to like that second step and I just have to leap. Have you tried doing it front ways? Front ways is probably the better way to do I it. I know, earlier. because I, I don't automatic. Yeah. And then I just have to like, 
and I used to try and get down and I used to have to climb onto yeah. her bed to get up and she was like serious like, why do you keep standing on my bed I'm like because I can't reach because Daisy, Daisy used to be above me and she'd just stand on me yeah. and be like all right <laughs> yeah I lost it as well and then I got like a new yeah, one I heard that one don't because you convinced me to buy things that I don't no need don't to buy. just use mine you don't need to buy it can we go out together all the time anyway do you know what I brought for us today would you buy? Oh, please. Thank you. I know. Please and thank you. I oh, literally thought of you when I was buying it. Yeah. Right, have you finished drink? No. No, babe. You drink that. Right. So we both going fun <laughs> to go claim our taxes back. I asked Alana, I said, like, what do we need to claim our taxes back? She, she said, I thought oh, she had a bit of common sense to drive this. Yeah. I, ha I have no common sense, apparently. Um, Let's do that. Oh. So oh, I, yeah, I asked Alana, what, what do we need for, to get our taxes back? And she said, I'll just bring like your ID. Um, Bearing in mind, I tied it up with my friend's passport instead of mine. Yeah, we, oh, we, right. we got like, there. It was and like she, going that wrong. <laughs> and I said, wow, you have a blue passport. I've got a, it looks blue. And I said, I've got a red passport. She opened it up. It was her friend's passport anyway. Yeah, so I she didn't even oh, bring her own passport. I brought my friends. And we were like, oh, that's the tragedy of today. But then no, we got in there and they were like, right, Write down your tax file number. So I'm like, I let her go first because her appointment was Yeah, my appointment was what? And she's just there, like, staring at him, like, why are you writing it down? I didn't have my tax file number. My tax, tax file number. Tax, tax file. Of... Tax claim. Yeah. Tax claim. I didn't bring my tax file number. So obviously, I was like, I'll just go first. Yeah. So I'm writing all my details. I thought I'd be able to get it like, on my like host plus, which is like my superannuation. Because obviously, I've provided my tax file number for them. But no. <laughs> And obviously, so they, only, <laughs> they only like email it to you, and on your payslip, your tax file. So at home, your PG would like be yeah. on your on your payslip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's like, your PG like? National insurance. Like, like a national insurance. Yeah. yeah, it would be like on your payslip. Yeah, all so, the time. Every single, all, time, yeah. every single time. And so I'm yeah, just check your just check your payslip. No, it's not on your payslip. No, nothing. I'm there trying to make like an Australian government account. And then like, I've got a MyGov account and it's on your MyGov account. Yeah, and but... I don't have a MyGov account. And do you know what the MyGov account asks for? Your tax file number. <laughs> and I don't have my tax file number. So I'm literally sat so there. So her appointment's at four and why is it half four? So I was like, I'll go to the four o'clock one. Yeah. You keep trying to find it. So I was just like, I was like, go to my appointment. It's fine. Like, I'll, I'll just try and figure it out. I'm literally there trying to find it. I'm, I'm going on to my Commonwealth. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going on to my, my Host Plus. I'm trying to make like a my gov account and you need like your tax file number for your my gov account and I was just there I was getting overwhelmed I was like no I used to leave this place it was too hot in there anyway so and I'm I was just like, in my meeting getting my tax back and she's like okay I need to leave I need to leave so she messaged her and I was like no I'm going I was like oh my god I just got all my tax back and she's yeah. like I've left I'm like what <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, yeah I was very very annoyed so what people are queuing for then those tax if you go to HR, yeah, they'll do it okay. for you for $79. Yeah. So, like, I claim $79. So, I paid $79 today for it, and I get, like, 1200 back. Oh, right. So, it is... So, you yeah. don't pay any tax, so you get it all so back? So, you just claim it all back, like, oh, all the no. tax, you just claim back? You get three months free, they said. Oh, three months free? Yeah, and then they said, if you earn a low income, you get it all back as well. So, obviously, because oh, okay. we're casual. Yeah. We get it back because, oh, really? like, we are technically low income. Yeah, so obviously I claim all of mine back, and but the only thing you have to pay for if you're English, I don't know about Welsh, Medicare. Swear, but, but then I'm also assuming. on your um slip, it didn't it didn't charge you for Medicare. Really? Yeah, it didn't. Charge yeah, but you. I it would have got charged for it because my tax back was supposed to be one thousand three hundred, but I actually only got one thousand. Oh, for. so they do charge you for Medicare? Yeah, I think it's like I thought Medicare was free. Oh, okay. oh, so you, they don't have like a healthcare here. So oh, me the Medicare is basically their version of the NHS. Okay. So yeah, because they asked me if I had it, and I was like, no. So, so we can sign up for Medicare as like working holiday visa. Um, we can we can sign up for Medicare, and it's free. So if you go to doctors, it's free. So I think there's it's a weird procedure. So when you go to the doctors, you have to pay. It's but then, but then Medicare will then refund oh. you the money. Mm -hmm. 
So it's basically NHS, but it's, it's a little bit more complicated. So you don't need uh, travel insurance and stuff like Because you can't. No, yeah, I think you still need a travel insurance. Because I have a travel insurance. Travel insurance, travel insurance yeah. But I haven't got Medicare. And I think I'm going to get Medicare because you don't have yeah. to pay for like doctor's appointments and things. I need to get Medicare as Yeah, well. because you had to pay for a doctor's appointment, didn't you? Yeah, so like the other week I had to pay $90 for, for a doctor's appointment. So it's Whereas, worth getting Medicare. Yeah. Just like just a doctor's appointment, I had to pay ninety dollars. So, if I had Medicare, I'd have to pay that ninety dollars, and then Medicare would then refund me within twenty four hours. So, yeah, I still need to do that. Yeah, I need. To. <laughs> Let's go do that together. Yeah, we should do that together. Yeah. And how long have you both been here? I've been here. I've been here five we're, months. Yeah, we've been here at the same time. Five months. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, because um, yeah. So if you got Medicaid, why would you need travel insurance? Is that more about? No, I think you need it to have Medicare. No, you don't really. So travel insurance is is mostly to do with but your, I your plane journeys, really. But I have a travel insurance that covers like my phone, my. So I have one that covers sport in case mm. I want to play rugby out here. Okay. So mine was more expensive because I wanted one in case I play rugby because rugby yeah. is classed as a dangerous sport. sport. Well, yeah. So That's fair enough, yeah. obviously, my, my I think my travel insurance is like five hundred pounds. What is that? My, a year or? No, so like, like you just pay for, for it all year. at once. Oh, okay. Like for the year. But I know like, travel insurance normally isn't that much. I think big. my travel insurance was like one hundred and fifty. Yeah, because I got one that passed got. skiing and. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And if you do cruising. Ooh, that's yeah. really Yeah, exciting. I got skiing and rugby, which was obviously both classes are quite dangerous sports because I want to ski when I go to New Zealand, mm. which my travel insurance still covers. So it was one of them where I preferred to get it. Even it's if I didn't it. play, it, yeah. even if I didn't play rugby, I'd prefer to have it than play one game and probably break my leg. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of insurance, I think the longest I can do is 45 days or 62 you days. You can do like long term insurance. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I, you can do up to a year. Yeah, see, oh, mine's okay. a year, yeah. but I don't mine's know if that's because well. of I got. But like that's like the longest that I've been able to yeah. find is is a year. So Have you ever claimed on up. your um, insurance yet? No. no. Okay. Yeah. But I think I think that's mostly to do with like flights and that. So like, yeah. So like, and if you, fly, like, you, you lose your phone, back, or, if you lose, or you your, lose luggage, your baggage, yeah. And you do act. There's a, th a new thing. What I realised. Um, if you have travel insurance, you can't claim it if you stop at somebody's house. Really? Yeah, you've got it. Got to be a hostel. Oh, Even a hostel, so they're a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You, so you, I didn't. It's it only by. Yeah, I know. So you, say like so if. My hostel. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. So you just in an apartment. have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. if you're at an apartment, then you might not. Yeah, because apartments are like a far like away like different hostels. <laughs> well, just say you're at my hostel. Yeah. 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 I have to sleep over every time we go out. We sleep. Yeah. So like, yeah, and then leave me. <laughs> so you would you wouldn't uh live together. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Is it my, small? My apartment's a two bedroom apartment. Yeah. Oh, okay. So and then, no, I actually thought about this the other day. Me and Hannah having a discussion. Yeah. Kez, my friend up the road, she yeah. has a spare bed. To put in my room. She has a spare bed. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, stop! Because I would do that. Yeah, but you wouldn't get free calm. Yeah, true. Yeah, free. It'd be yeah. about the same like price, but also I don't know if I really get free comp. I'd love to speak to Dougie about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah, if she's got a free bed though. Yeah, because like the rooms are so much bigger. Yeah, your room is massive. You don't pay for washing. It's yeah. literally the same amount a week. Yeah. Like, and we pay monthly. What what, what do you pay for apartments here then? So I pay monthly. My apartment's actually quite expensive. An apartment. Mm. So we pay. Six nine five a week, which is like one thousand five hundred and five a month between two of us. Yeah, it's but, still a lot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we have an expensive apartment. Everyone's so expensive. But when I turned up, I had no rental history because obviously I was eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Had no job yet, mm. so I kind of just went with yeah, what we you could got get. To, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it do is a, it yeah. is really nice, isn't it? Like, oh, it's a it's a so lovely if you get apartment. if you get a third person, then that yeah. just and it yeah. used to be an yeah. Airbnb. So when we turned mm. up, like we didn't have to get cutlery, we didn't have to get yeah, it's got everything in there, like everything, yeah. like, like it's yeah. fully furnished. Would you prefer like living in a flat than a hostel? Oh my god, absolutely. She comes yeah. around and like honestly, like literally, <laughs> I literally I go to theirs and I'm like I'm not leaving. Like even just the functioning Wi-Fi, yeah, is br is, is brilliant. Yeah, because we don't pay for internet. Oh, good. the things that are included are internet, water, 
So we only pay for electricity, which is every three months. And is it safe? A safe area? Yeah, safe it's, place? Oh, the area mm. we live in is a really nice area. Like the house is a lovely area. The house is that if you try and buy a house there, they're really expensive because we live in Milton or Paddington. So they're very expensive houses. So could you oh, afford yeah. to like chip in third ways? Would it if work out the same? If you came to live with us, it would be the same price as the hostel. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. So if, if I was to go into there, it would be the same price because I'm, it's going up to 245 now actually oh, right. to live in a six bed hostel. Yeah. And ours is. Like that's long term rates yeah, as well. Yeah. That's not even like standard rates, that's long term rates. So it used to be two ten, now it's gone up to two forty five. And ours is six ninety five a week. But we yeah. pay monthly, which is a lot better for us because monthly is obviously like home. Yeah. So you get paid monthly at home. So you can afford to like keep saving and saving and saving and then pay. Yeah. Whereas if you pay weekly like, oh. So your job, does that pay monthly or is that weekly? That's weekly. weekly. So oh, okay. I can put aside most like... Job, yeah. yeah. Most jobs in Australia are weekly. Are they? Yeah, a lot of them. Like, well, in hospitality anyway. Yeah, a lot of... Weekly. To be fair, a lot of apartments are actually weekly. That's why we were yeah. very shocked when we got ours and it was monthly because that's very unusual for Australia. Yeah. And what weird. sort of... Um, so if someone was coming to Australia, what sort of wages would they get? Sort of in catering or... Pubs? The wages are good, I'd say, but... Yeah. I'd also say the price of living here is expensive. Yeah. yeah. Wages are good. So like, so you've moved up in a capsule I've, now. Yeah, I've moved up now to like 31. 31. Because she's been there for three months, it's 31. So like, I'm still on 29. But then I have two other jobs. So like, yeah. one of my jobs is 25 and one of them is 28. So it kind of depends on what, yeah. how so old like, you are. Because of your age, you're in, yeah. it's 25 in that one job. But like, I feel like the capsule as well, like most hospitality jobs pay weekly rate yeah. the job that we have doesn't mm. so that's what we struggle with most because we don't yeah. get paid for that work on sundays you get more pay saturdays yeah. you get more pay we don't so, get that where we work so like oh. so a lot of places pay for like saturday sunday pay and also like past like 10 p.m, 10 PM yeah. yeah like Hannah, we don't get that. So how on. come you don't get that then Is because it, just... it they had a sign contract that so changes in october oh, so like yes, my friend who i live with she paid she gets paid 28 and then on saturdays gets paid 32 and then on sundays gets paid 38 I think do it people is. tip well in australia um it, oh to be fair yeah like in, in a bar so we've yeah. got like we've got pokies in our bar as well so some of the regulars will go to like the pokies and tip yeah, us. And, and like some of like they get. like the sort of labourers tend to tip like quite well. Or if there's like a say if there's an international thing on as well, yeah. I find a lot of people paying cash. So yeah. they kind of just say, Oh, so keep they the just change. Keep, keep the change yeah. Yeah. So you get tipped a lot more if there's an international thing. I on. would say we get tipped more here than at home. A hundred percent. I never yeah. used to get tipped at home, yeah. but here I get tipped. Yeah. Like, get I think I went lot. home one day and I had like two hundred dollars in tips. No, I think my max is like hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Is that good a hundred and fifty? Is that yeah. Yeah. more Pretty than home? Like, yeah. I think at home 100%. I used to get like two pounds. At home, at home, I would literally get and like I work behind a bar that I knew week. everyone as well. Yeah. Because like, at home, they kind of say, oh, you can have a drink on me and I'll buy you yeah. a drink. Yeah. But and then here, you would, obviously, like, you can't drink. Drink, yeah. On so they would just, they would just give you like a 50 for yeah. like a $20 sort of like bill and just say, keep the change. So yeah. you get like the $30. But so, you notice that a lot of like international say, oh, I'll buy you a drink and you're like, oh, I can't have like a. Mm. Like if they're like, oh, we'll do a shot and you do one with me. Here, you can't do that. Do that yeah. Yeah. Whereas at home, you can. So they kind of give you the money instead mm. of like. Who's, who's the big tippers? Is it the Americans? No, no do you know what? It's like the it's Americans. Like the like labourers. It's the labourers. Oh, gosh. It is the labourers. Because they, like, they get paid in cash. Yeah, so I find like, anyone who pays in cash. Are the anyone who pays in cash, then yeah, we get get pretty good mm. tips. Do you think they're hitting on you? That's why they're tipping, or they're just mm. sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you know it's like mixed women bag, yeah. bartenders get a lot mm. more tips, obviously males. Yeah. But as well, I've noticed with pokies as well, you get a lot more tips with pokies because they kind of just like they win loads. What, what are like, pokies? So pokies are like the games rooms, like, like the gambling, so oh, like the right, gambling okay, machines. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like they just do it like I've been like before with like a male colleague 
um, a man to come up to the bar and he's going, oh, just split it between the two of you. Yeah. Just like because they've won so much, they just give it. Yeah. You. Yeah. Like, I don't even do the pay. I won't even do the papers at the time. <coughs> and they said, oh, just give it to her. Just give whatever I win to her. So yeah. I got like twenty dollar tip just for that. Yeah. And do they? Uh, does the company take a percentage of your tips, or do you? No, like, no. Just keep whatever, whatever you, you get. give. Yeah, whatever you give to them. It. It does do depend just depends what company you work for. Though. Like the cats. Oh like, um, yeah, where we work, you just you're allowed you're to, to keep whatever you tips. give. Like if I like make two hundred tips, I'd be allowed to keep my own. Yeah. Whereas like my friend, where she works, they have a jar. Oh yeah. Oh, so like yeah. you put it in, it gets split. I and never like. Really I never like that. Well, I like it in one way, but if you get like, if you're good at it, yeah, like, oh, if you're you bad, you're yeah. and then if you're, if yeah, you're bad, yeah, you get good tips. Yeah. you're losing your own tips. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So like, we could make two hundred dollars a night, but like, yeah, but then someone could be really bad and be making no tips a night, and then get our two hundred dollars. Yeah, I know. I've so always thought that was unfair. Right. We've got to go. We've got to go. Yeah, we've got to go. So sorry to cut that short.